Squarespace's last update of 2022 is their best update of 2022. They just released save sections, which makes it a thousand times easier to replicate layouts across pages on your Squarespace site. So that's what we're going to be taking a look at today. So the way that the saved section feature works is if you edit the page and then hover over a section, we now have this heart icon where you can save a section. So I'll go ahead and click that. And now when we go to the add section panel, there's this new dialogue uh, section called my saved sections. And you can see I now have this section here. So we can use that to easily add uh, content across pages. So I'll go to my testimonials page here, which is blank, and you'll see how quickly I can add a new page to this site. So I'll select my hero section that I just saved and that will add it to the page. And the next thing that I can do is just go through here and build out the rest of the site. So I've saved a bunch of different layouts for Aubrey so she will easily be able to build pages uh, in the future. So I'll just go here and add some of the services sections we can add testimonials to the site. So the great thing is this works for auto layout sections as well. So I like to use carousel auto layout sections for testimonials so people can rotate through the different testimonials here. Um, so I love this, but in the past we've had to just literally rebuild this from scratch every time, uh, which has been a giant pain in the butt. But now we can just quickly you know, replicate these across different pages of the website, which is amazing. Now I'll just finish off the page with a call to action. I've given her a couple different options here, um, but you can see how quickly I've built out a page that totally follows the brand of the site. She can update the images, update the content here. And if we go to mobile, the best thing is it saves the mobile layouts for the blocks that we've added to this section. So no, you know, fudging with anything. It's all just set up and ready to go. I absolutely love this feature. Now, uh, in terms of housekeeping items, so if you want to delete a saved section, you just go to my saved sections and select it and then hit delete, and that would delete it from this area. There's no way to update a saved section. So like, for instance, if I wanted to make a change, I would just delete the section and then make my change and then resave the section. So no way to edit it, but just delete and then resave. Uh, finally, for the footer, there's no way to add saved sections to the footer or to save sections in the footer, um, which is a little bit unfortunate. I would love to see that in the future, but you know, hey, uh, I'm absolutely loving this update, so I'll take what we can get. So if there's any updates made to this feature, I will absolutely be making a video in the future. But as of right now, I'm I'm loving this feature and it's making my builds so much easier and so much faster. I hope you found this video helpful. If you're interested in learning more about Fluid Engine, I've had a lot of people reach out to me. They're having trouble building sites in Fluid Engine. It just doesn't make sense to them. And I'm building all my sites in Fluid Engine and loving it. So I'm creating a master Fluid Engine training and we're going to be looking at the site that I just built that we looked at in this video. I'm going to be going over the whole site, how I built it out, the creative decisions that I made, how I chose to recreate those designs in Fluid Engine, and how to make sure you don't run into any of those quirks that Fluid Engine can lead to. So if you're interested in being notified when that training is released early next year, then check out the link in the description below where you can sign up and uh, be notified when it's released. All right. I hope you enjoyed this video. I'd love to see you in that training. If you're interested, consider subscribing to the channel for more content like this, and hopefully I'll see you in the next one.